All right, we are coming live from the studio. Hold up a second. I don't have a studio, and I'm not coming to you live. This is all recorded, so let's back up. Let's get to it. We are now in week two, as you can see in the background. There's week two of the Hackmaster Python program, 19 week course. That means I have 17 more weeks to go. Well, let's uh, just start off with what I learned this week. Covering in depth over 80 Python problems that were assigned to us in a repository I've been cloned, worked on, or gone through, well, gone through the solutions, I've done all my commits. So I've gone through it one time, I'm actually in the process of going through it a second time right now, so I've created branches. And I've highlighted this more in a blog article. On top of the first three days of this past week, we're probably all focused on Python, where the last day, really like the last day and a half, was focused on HTML and CSS and do our own personal projects. I'll, again, add those in my blog post. It's just a way to document some of the projects I'm working on. Again, it's all really you know, basic stuff at this point, but certainly over the next couple weeks, it's gonna take off like the 4th of July. It's not even the same, but <laughs> throwing that in there, because why not? They don't celebrate 4th of July though in Columbia, as you can probably imagine. <laughs> uh, regardless, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that in uh, my documentation. Uh, to also note some of the challenges I faced this week was again just uh, just the Python problems, um, knowing how to go about uh, problem solving, deconstructing, writing your pseudocode, um, and knowing just I guess good problem solving techniques or mindset or perspective you want to have when uh, dealing with an engineering mind or in this case just a rational problem solver goes. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'd say for challenges. In addition, I did highlight in my blog article go into just like breakout sessions and breakout rooms, but again, that's very, very minimal challenges. And going forward, I'm really looking forward to it. being more intentional with doing more paired programming when it comes to solving, solving coding challenges, because I truly believe that is how you learn for yourself, as well as demonstrating to others, you know the material, you know the language that you're talking about when you are constantly talking about the language, of course but finding a way to articulate in a very simplistic form that, let's say a fifth grader, a sixth grader, a third grader would be able to interpret and understand. And this week also marked the second, every other second week of the program, the cohort us gets that Friday off. So this weekend was actually a four day weekend for myself and my other cohort mates. So Friday, we didn't have class and also today being President's Day, we did not have class. So that means I had four days to do what they, what half practice calls rest, reflex, re, rest. They call it rest, reflecting and relaxation. Maybe that's, but our re, relax and relaxation is not the same. Well, let's just say rest and reflect for now. <laughs> Go with that, rest and reflect. In this case, what I did is I was intentional with my time from a learning standpoint. And also, I guess, networking standpoint with uh, just continuing reaching out to people on LinkedIn, um, building my portfolio more and more, on top of re-going over the Python problems, the 80 Python problems. And for my physical and mental health, myself and my girlfriend. <laughs> This is the part where I tell you what I do on my day off on a Friday, never a day off for me, but woke up at 5.30, already did a 10 minute meditation, um, did a quick 10 minute workout of intense pull-ups, burpees, just the basics uh, to fit in on a day where we go from Santa Rosa, took a bus as you can see, to a bigger city called Pareda, uh, where my girlfriend is uh, just had an eye appointment, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to uh, do some work at a nearby coffee shop. So that's how I spend my morning <laughs> on the second Friday off, because the cool thing with when you do the Hack Reactor program is you get every second Friday off to uh, rest, rejuvenate, uh, do your own self-study, do your own things, and yeah, that's what I'm doing. Being intentional with my day, enjoying the sun, and getting some work in. Ciao, ciao for now. Oh, what a glorious morning as the car alarm is going off. We probably don't want to listen to the car alarm. We're going to take a pause a moment because you don't want to hear the car alarm in the background. That's so not <laughs> pleasing to the ear. <laughs> oh, there we go. It stopped. <laughs> so glorious morning coming to you from Pareda in the Departamento. You can think of it as like a state if you're an American. And 
uh, Reservelda is the departmental in the biggest city is called Pareto. And I think there's about 400,000 people, roughly, give or take. So it's about bigger than the city that I'm originally from. I was born in called Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, but it's about 20 minutes outside the town I'm living in, Santa Rosa de Capal. Uh, like I said before, we're, I'm here this morning because my girlfriend has an eye appointment just over there. So I came to a cafe called Juan Valdez. Juan Valdez is the Starbucks of Colombia. Or if you're Canadian, it's the Tim Hortons. Or if you're Australian, what is the Australian, um, the Australian coffee chain? I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm thinking Nano's. Nano's is not coffee though, it's like chicken. <laughs> I don't know, I'm blanking on it. Lived there for a while, cannot remember it. Been, been, uh, been a little while. Anyways, continuing on with the day, productivity tasks we're doing, just some side work I got going on, project managing, where I can help with the language barrier of Spanish and English for um, a designer producing uh, marketing material for clients in the US and doing practice problems, Python. I've already done 80 practice problems that was given to me um, that I complete on uh, VS Code. So I'm gonna go through it a second time over the next couple of days on top of just adding, adding more and more content to my LinkedIn, uh, prepping for uh, just documenting these YouTube videos a bit better. <laughs> um, in addition, what else? I have a whole schedule, but I don't have that in front of me top of just adding more to my website, my personal website. Um, yeah, and just doing more like HTML, CSS, uh, and also studying for Django because of the next week we're gonna be introduced to Django and getting a better sense of that framework and how to implement that library in connection with Python. It's my understanding too, the next class of Hack Reactor is not gonna be learning Django, they're gonna be learning a different framework because from what I was explaining, it, it, Django does a lot of automation so I guess the other framework uh, doesn't have as much automation, so you're gonna be more in-depth learning that way. I, I don't know if that's necessarily correct. Please don't quote me on that, that's what I was told. <laughs> I don't remember the name of it, it's like in solar, something in, in wise. That's what I got going on, so that's what I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna check in with you later. Stay tuned for video from going to the hot springs this Sunday and Monday. I'm going with my girlfriend, I'm going to get massages, I'm going to go to the hot springs in San Vicente. So if you're ever in Colombia, go to the natural hot springs just outside Santa Rosa de Cabal. Uh, it's called San Vicente. It's a very elegant place. It's muy barato. Muy barato. Very uh, affordable. Put it that way for the quality of service that you're getting. And because we're going on a non-weekend, well, we're going Sunday night, but we're going to do the Monday, it won't be very busy. So we get our own private pool. So I'm told. But we're going to get high quality massages. And it's just another way to uh, spend your time outside of Cody. This, well, you can code all the time if you want. Um, I guess the lifestyle I'm trying to live, or that I want to live, is a mixture of good mental health, good skills, being programming, utilizing these technologies uh, for the benefit of creating value for others, creating, um, creating software that has a positive impact in society, whether it's big or small and also being just very mindful of uh, one's physical health, mental health, and relationships. All of that, that's life. Okay, let's cut and see you in the next clip. <laughs> Enjoying the tea for now. Holy got a full effect with the dog and the shiny nails. Look at that. Wow, the girlfriend is getting her nails done too right now, and that's how they spend the summer. Enjoying the salsa music and getting the fingernails done, because that's what makes us a coder, having good fingernails. Does that make sense? I went to a thermal resort, thermal hot springs resort called San Vicente, about an hour away from Santa Rosa. Battle. We took a Jeep, we hired a Jeep, and you can probably see right now I'm gonna loop in some footage to throw in a Python term there. Loop in some footage where you're seeing us hiring a Jeep, you're seeing us riding through the jungle to get to this thermal resort and just kind of to give you additional uh, details. Uh, that one hour ride, it's fairly bumpy, it's pretty much predominantly a dirt road and it is a long way away from what people would call <laughs> Society. <laughs> so it is, you are right in the middle of the jungle, you are deep into nature, and it is, um, in this case, it's like kind of like a luxury hotel. And for the price you pay for the services you get, it is 
nothing I would probably imagine can compare to whether it's like similar luxurious spa hotels like in the United States or in Europe or other Western world countries or just a lot of other options available in other parts of the world. Uh, I would have to state that um, just the quality of air, the I think there's like over 20 hot springs uh, that you can actually uh, be in. Um, the quality of the water, the food you could eat, all of the, I believe there's about 160 different species of birds, aves. Um, yeah, there's about 160 different species of birds. Myself and my girlfriend, we did like a therapeutic session where we sat in dirt, we got buried in dirt, and we sat like on this hot floor that was heated by thermal, um, the thermal water. And then we eventually got like this charcoal scrub all put over our body. And we, you couldn't even tell who, who, like who is who, because you just look at us and we were completely covered in charcoal, so we were completely black. <laughs> and then we did like a, a sauna, and then we also did a, a nice nice massage. And yeah, I would highly, highly, highly recommend San Vicente if you ever make it this way to this part of Colombia. Again, it's kind of like in the southwestern part of Colombia. Um, can't speak highly enough about it as far as the affordability, um, the service, and just the quality of where you are in the world being immersed in nature, the high quality air conditions, uh, friendly people, and a lot of local people from like the surrounding towns and cities and I actually did end up meeting an American, an 85 year old gentleman named Neil, who <laughs> will never watch this, but an 85 year old gentleman named Neil was originally from um, Ohio and he went to the Ohio State University, graduated in 1961. He spent six months of his time in Ohio, I can't remember exactly which town, and six months out of the year in a small town called Catala, if I'm saying it, if I'm remembering it correctly, Catala, which is about an hour uh, from Santa Rosa de Cabal. So it was cool, yeah, being another American. Um, so I find that's really beneficial from a standpoint of detaching yourself from coding to give your mind a break and come back all refreshed and recharged because I am all refreshed and recharged my, my forehead. And I can say the same time my girlfriend, our foreheads are nice and smooth, like a baby's bottom. <laughs> that's how smooth it is. Uh, that charcoal, I guess it's like a, um, an exfoliator. And uh, yeah, it was funny, we were, we were as we had like a charcoal on us and we were just sitting in the sauna, we just like took the charcoal off our body and started like cleaning our teeth um, because I believe charcoal is good for your teeth. It takes, uh, takes the stains away. <laughs> so this coming week, I'm being intentional with um, how I use my time when it comes to like the breakout sessions and also organizing video calls with other programmers when I, um, to do more paired programming as well as tonight I'm just going to do some follow-up study when it comes to the Django framework and familiarize myself more and more with how that how that all gets put together with your HTML file, your CSS file, your Python files, your Python modules and then thus using the library of Django to move along and allow your app to blossom. <laughs> with that I'm signing off for now. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching, watching this, taking the time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send them my way. And I look forward to answering them. See you next week, week, today's. Sayonara for now. Peace, love, unity, respect. Mucho amor. Paso.